Hello friends, welcome to the next episode where we are going to learn some more words in Hindi in a very easy manner. So are you all ready to learn along with me? Let's get started with the next couple of words that we have in our vocabulary and we are going to try to communicate in Hindi once we are done with the classes. So are you all ready friends? Okay, so let's have a look at the next set of words. The first one, your turn. Next is my turn and our turn. Alright, so you would be wondering why your turn is written two times. So you will come to know once we learn that in Hindi. Alright, so now assume that you are playing maybe Antakshri or you are playing some Damsharas with your friends and then you happen to tell your friend, now it's your turn. So, how will you communicate that in Hindi? Let's see. Tumhari bari. Tumhari bari. So, here as I gave you a situation, you are playing Damsharas. You are playing Antakshri with your friends. So, it's understood that it's a friendly situation. Right? You are along with your friends. So, when you are with your friends, generally we don't tend to be very formal. So, we can call people by their name by using the slangs. So, in Hindi, when you are addressing someone in a friendly tone, when you are addressing someone who is junior than you in terms of age, then in that case, we use the word Tumhari, Tumhara. Alright? So, Tumhari Bari. Bari means turn. Alright? So, let's understand the Next one. Now assume that you are in a conference hall and you are asking your colleague to represent his point of view. Now as I said, this is an official setup where you are interacting with your colleague. So when you have to say your turn, here you will be saying aap ki bari. Aap ki bari. Because in Hindi, when you are representing someone in formal terms or you are representing someone who, are, who is elder than you, we use the word aap. Okay? So, when you are telling something in an informal tone, you will say tumhari bari. And when you are going to represent someone in a formal at atmosphere or to someone elders, you will be saying aap ki bari. So, hope it is clear friends. So, now let's have a look at the next one. My turn. I am playing Antakshri with my friends and now it's my turn. So, if I have to say my turn, how will I say that in Hindi? Let's see. Meri bari. Meri bari. My turn. My means meri. Mera. So, here I am going to say meri bari. Alright, next one is our turn. So, again when it is a team, assume that it's team A versus team B and now you are team A, it's your chance and you are telling it's our turn. So, that can be said as Hamari Bari. Hamari Bari. So, I repeat once again, when you are addressing someone in a friendly ambience, you say Tum. Tumhari, when you are addressing someone in a social gathering where elders are there, where officials are there or your formal colleagues are there, you will be saying Aap. When you have to say something for yourself, you say Main, Mera and when you are representing as a team, when you say We, Us, Our, then you say Hamari. So, let's have a recap once again. Your turn in friendly ambience will be said as Tumhari Bari. Your turn in formal ambience will be said as Aapki Bari. My turn will be said as Meri Bari. And our turn will be said as Hamari Bari. So, hope it was clear and easy to understand friends. So, let's have a look at the next set of words. Now, 
you tell again informal you tell formal he will tell and she will tell so let's understand how you will converse this in hindi you tell as i had mentioned over here it's an informal a friendly ambience right so you will be saying as tum batao batao means to tell tum batao i have to say raghav tum batao rahul tum batao okay next one when i have to say you tell to someone senior or to my boss so i will be saying as any idea all right so we will be saying as aap boliye aap boliye so as i said when you are respecting someone you have to use the word aap aapko depending on the sentence usage right so aap boliye if i have to use the word batao i can also say aap bataiye i cannot say aap batao all right because batao will become a colloquial slang or you can say a friendly approach all right next one he will tell how will i say that in hindi vah batayega vah batayega so vah means he batayega means will tell vah batayega and if a, if a girl is going to give that sentence i would be saying it as vah batayegi so see the difference friends if it is a boy it will be batayega if it is a girl it will be batayegi so that matra changes ga and gi all right so if i have to say raghav will tell he will tell vah batayega if i have to say mala will tell she will tell i would say vah batayegi all right so let's have a quick recap again you tell in a friendly manner tum batao you tell in a formal manner aap boliye he will tell vah batayega and she will tell will be vah batayegi so i am sure you are able to make a note of these small little differences which you need to modulate when you are changing the gender or when you are changing the formality tone in your conversation so let's have a look at the next set of words now i will tell and if it is a male if i am a boy i will tell how will i say that in hindi then i will tell in the female version we will tell and they will tell let's have a look i will tell now if suppose my name is sumit so being a male i say i will tell how will i say that main bataunga main bataunga so the end becomes ga all right now i am say sheila i am a lady and if i say i will tell so the same thing will be said as main bataungi main bataungi so towards the end the word gi will come did are you able to understand when it is a male it will be bataunga and when it is a female it becomes bataungi hope it's clear all right so now a common gender neutral gender we will tell we will tell you the answer very soon we will tell you the result very soon so how will you say that in hindi let's see hum batayenge hum batayenge hum means we and batayenge means will tell hum batayenge hum aapko results batayenge we will tell you the results hum aapko results batayenge all right so let's see the last one they will tell so they will be said as we we batayenge they will tell you the result soon we 
रिजल्ट्स बताएंगे ऑल राइट सो लेट्स हैव अ क्विक रिकैप अगेन आई विल टेल इफ इट इज अ बॉय इट विल बी मैं बताऊंगा आई विल टेल इफ इट इज अ गर्ल विल बिकम मैं बताऊंगी वी विल टेल विल बी टोल्ड एज हम बताएंगे एंड दे विल टेल विल बिकम वे बताएंगे सो होप यू वर एबल टू मेक द नोट ऑफ दो डिफरेंसेस एंड इट वॉज इजियर फॉर यू टू प्रोनाउंस अलॉन्ग विथ मी ऑल राइट सो लेट्स हैव अ लुक एट द नेक्स्ट सेट ऑफ वर्ड्स ही विल कम शी विल कम I will come if it is a male and I will come if it is a female. So let's have a look. Now I we all are planning for a party and I have my friend Mukesh and my other friend ask me will he come? So I say that yes he will come. Yes Mukesh will come. So how will I have to say that in Hindi? Wah aayega. Mukesh will come. Mukesh aayega wah aayega all right now the same thing if it is a girl i have a friend hema and on being asked whether hema will come i say to them that yes hema will come yes she will come so i will say that wah aayegi hema aayegi all right so again you notice the difference of ga and gi if it is a male it becomes ga if it is a female it becomes gi all right next i will come if i am a boy okay my name is ganesh so if i am a boy i say i will come i will say that main aaunga main aaunga and the same thing if i am sita i am a lady so i will say that main aaungi मैं आऊंगी अगेन द डिफरेंस ऑफ गा एंड गी सो आई एम प्रिटी श्योर दैट यू आर एबल टू आइडेंटिफाई इफ इट इज अ मेल वॉट विल बी द एंडिंग स्टेटमेंट इफ इट इज अ फीमेल वॉट विल बी द एंडिंग स्टेटमेंट राइट एंड सिमिलरली इफ इट इज एल्डर्स और अ फॉर्मल कॉन्वर्सेशन हाउ यू विल यूज एंड इफ इट इज एन इनफॉर्मल कॉन्वर्सेशन हाउ विल यू चैट विथ योर फ्रेंड्स राइट so let's have a recap once again he will come can be said as wah aayega she will come will be said as wah aayegi i will come will be said as main aaunga if i am a boy and i will come will be said as main aaungi if i am a girl so hope all these tips and strategies will be useful for you to practice smoothly without any hiccups and you will be able to communicate in hindi at ease see you all in the next part